Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to talk about how you can write your own Locust file. So this is going to be a continuation of the previous Locust video. So Locust is basically a load testing framework and we are going to see how you can write your own Locust file and how you can customize it. In the previous video I had an example Locust file for the Python web app that I created and now I'm going to create a new one. So locust file.py and basically what we would like to do is to import the time module. This is going to be like a real world scenario and from locust we import http user task and between. Then we create our quick start user class which inherits from the HTTP user class. The wait time is going to be between 1 and 5. Uh, first we will create the class and I am going to walk you through what uh, is happening and why. So we have a test decorated hello world and the self that client that get should load the default context route and the about context route. So these context routes come from the test of that py. We have the default context route and the about. Now we will have a task with the three argument and view items then for item id in range 10 what we will do is to use the self that client get create an f string slash item query id equals uh, item id and the name is going to be forward slash item and then the time that sleep one. So let's switch it out from time import sleep. Then we don't need this way. And uh, def on start self and self that client that post forward slash login json username daniel and the password is super secret now what we would like to do is to adjust our web application so we have to create a login and an item context route so let's create the login at app.route forward slash login and from the flask module we have to import the request object and we say that if the request that method is equal to post then we print out or rather return <sighs> what should we do? Let's return OK and post else return OK get. So this should cover the login context route. And what we have to tell here is that the methods methods are get and post these are the viable methods and let's create our item context route so app that route item and this is a bit tricky because what we have to do is to pull the request arguments 
So for example, for, for now, what we should do is to print out the request.args and return an OK. So let's go ahead and start our web, web application and visit the web page. And here we should have the login context route and we should have the items context route and it says it's not found uh, because this is item not items okay and question mark item id is equal to 10 and if you go here you can see that we have the request args printed so here what we would like to do is to adjust the web application for our test so in a locust file we say that we want to get the item ids and then sleep one so basically what we would like to do is to say that when the id is equal to item id so 0 1 2 and throughout 9 we would like to return a number so technically here is what we could do so let's call this item id and the request args.get id and we say that this is a num and then return the oak with the item id so if i restart my web application and hit the context route this is none but if i give it the id you can see that this is 10. so now it should start working so uh, basically here we have uh, in the locust file the following we have the necessary imports and we have the wait time so basically the wait time will make the si simulated users wait between one and five seconds after each task and uh, the other thing this is the task three so here basically what we are doing is the following let me get that uh, we can give weights to the tasks and the uh, the this task the view items is with higher weight and if i go ahead and execute locust and visit our web page with the appropriate url you can see <coughs> that if i hit with five users spawn rate one and use my url we are going to get the following we are going to start swarming and we have the get item and the login and this is basically how we could create like a real world scenario with the help of locust all right so basically that was all i wanted to show you see you in the next one